What if I told you that we could develop immunity to anxiety and stress? Is it possible? Neuroscience research suggests that it is conceivable. Anxiety and excessive stress are the two main psychological factors that will keep you from being happy and successful. Both of these problems also contribute a lot to depression. Indeed, social anxiety limits our capacity to establish new acquaintances and interact with others. Our capacity to achieve intellectually and athletically is hampered by performance anxiety. If we attempt to talk to more than a handful of people at once, our fear of public speaking may paralyze us. But this cloud has a silver lining. The way your brain functions is not set in stone. You have the ability to improve it. There is some indication that you may be able to develop some immunity against anxiety and stress. Want to learn how? Make sure you watch this video all the way through. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for the latest from Red Button Journal. And now for the journal. Your brain's neural networks are changeable. According to research, your brain is very responsive to environmental stimuli and your thoughts and emotions. This phenomenon is known as neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the brain's ability to create new neural connections and strengthen old ones, laying the groundwork for the neurologic systems that underpin almost every aspect of human life. This has significant consequences for our understanding of stress and anxiety and how to handle them more effectively. Think about how a car engine can be tuned to run either rich or lean, fast and furious or a little sluggish off the line. Your nervous system can also be tuned. The human nervous system may be tuned to be easily irritated, oversensitive, and overreactive based on one's ideas, feelings, and experiences. This is particularly true for the sympathetic nervous system, which is in charge of the fight or flight response. So, the more negative ideas you have, the more terrible experiences you have, the more negative emotions you have, and the more you worry about things, the more probable it is that you will train your brain to experience stress and anxiety responses with less and less provocation. Such hypersensitivity lays the groundwork for severe anxiety and a whole slew of psychological and physical stress-related diseases. The good news is that your nervous system can also be desensitized. This means that if neural patterns associated with excessive stress can be learned, they can also be unlearned. They can really be transformed and replaced with more positive functioning neurologic pathways. Highly sensitive processes that cause anxiety and stress, in particular, may be efficiently desensitized. But how is that even possible? Changing your brain's makeup and performance is simpler than you might think. Let's take a look at three simple steps that may help you desensitize your brain's proclivity for anxiety and excessive stress. Number one, expectations. Setting reasonable expectations is critical for lowering anxiety and stress. The human brain's highly neuroplastic hippocampus regions seem to be involved in the emergence of anxiety responses when reality does not meet expectations. Your feeling of optimism will grow as a result of meeting your more realistic expectations. Then, as your optimism increases, it may become a positive self-fulfilling prophecy. Number 2. Mindfulness Mindfulness is a kind of awareness attained by concentrating your attention on the current moment and recognizing what is happening around you while also calmly noting your thoughts and emotions about that moment. The skill of mindfulness, the act of being mindful, is developed through meditation or other training. Mindfulness has been linked to lower levels of pain as well as lower levels of anxiety, stress, and hypersensitivity. Number 3 relaxation. Deep breathing, yoga, meditation, and prayer have all been demonstrated in studies to induce relaxation sufficient to accommodate neural desensitization. Not only can practicing a relaxation response make you feel calm while you're doing it, but after just a few weeks of doing it every day, you could build up resistance to stress and feel less pressure at work or in school. 
Although these three basic steps to changing our brains are not an exhaustive list, they certainly provide the groundwork for minimizing anxiety and excessive stress. We know that exercise can make you smarter, make your brain more flexible, and make you feel calmer afterward. Dietary changes can help you build a healthier nervous system by reducing oxidative stress and fibrogenesis. And we could make a whole video about the benefits of getting enough sleep. Research shows that you may develop psychological immunity to anxiety and excessive stress by tuning your brain with those three simple foundational steps. Expectations, mindfulness, and relaxation. Tell us what you think if you've ever tried any of these or intend to give it a go. We'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe for the latest from Red Button Journal.